Hello, everybody. Hello, 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 everybody. Trying to get it together. Trying to get it together. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Hey, Prophetess Abigail. How you doing? Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Come on in. Share the broadcast. I don't plan on... Let me stop saying I ain't gonna be on long. Let me let me stop saying that. <laughs> let me stop saying that. Blessings to you all. Come on in. Share the broadcast. Bring the people in. Hey, Carnetta. How you doing? Hey, Donisha. Come on in. Come on in. Share the broadcast. Come on in. I am feeling a prophetic... A fire in my stomach. I'm feeling a prophetic fire in my stomach. So come on in. Share the broadcast. Amen. Share the broadcast. From last night, I was feeling this way from last night. So I don't know what the Lord is about to do. From last night, I was trying to stench. And you know we ain't supposed to be doing this. From last night, I was trying to, you know, hold this in and trying to contain it. But I, I can't contain it. I cannot contain it. So I have to come on in and release it. Amen. I have to come on in and release it. When the Spirit of the Lord starts to deal with me like this, it starts to get so heavy. So I got to come on in. So share the broadcast. I would appreciate it if you do. Come on in. Share the broadcast. Uh, and, and let's go in. Come on in. Share the broadcast. Hallelujah. Come on in and share the broadcast. This is for somebody today. Come on in. Come on in. Hallelujah. Come on in. Hallelujah. Come on in. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. Come on in. I'm just waiting to see about 15 people on the screen. I'm just waiting to see about 15 people on the screen. As soon as we get up to 15, we get in there. Share the, share the video. Share the video. Share the video. Come on. Share the video. Hey, Prophetess Deborah, how you doing? Share the video. Come on in. I'm waiting for about 15 people to come on in. I'm waiting for about 15 people to come on in because there's something in my stomach. I don't know what it is, but I know the Lord is about to move on this line today. Guess what? If you are sick in your body and you know that something, you know someone that is sick, go ahead, tag them into this video. Go ahead and invite them to this video. If you know someone that is sick, tag them onto the video. Listen, I had a meeting this morning, prophetess. I had a meeting this morning. So <laughs> I had a meeting this morning um, that I had to attend. Um, come on in. If you know somebody, hey, Rochelle, how you doing, honey? If you know someone that is sick, go ahead, tag them in the video. Go ahead and invite them into the video um, 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 today. Go and invite them into the video. Amen. Go and invite them into the video. For those of you that share the broadcast, come on in, share it. If you haven't shared as yet, for those of you that have already shared the broadcast, thank you for sharing. Um, I really appreciate it. Blessings to all of you. Hey, Lizelle, how you doing? Go ahead. I'm waiting for like 15 people to come on in. I know it probably might not stay at 15, but I'm waiting for like 15 people to come on in because somebody need to hear this today. Amen. Somebody need to hear this today. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Thank you for coming on in. But people of God, listen, I tell you all, listen, I feel and thank you for sharing, Julia. I'm feeling like this prophetic move in my stomach. I'm just waiting for 15 people and be just about there. I'm just waiting for 15 people to come on in the broadcast. 15 people. <laughs> that's all. So share the broadcast. Thank you for sharing. Come on, let's get into a posture of prayer. Let's get into a posture of prayer. Let's say a word of prayer before we go in. Father, we give you all of the praise. We give you all of the glory. We give you all of the um, honor, Father, for you are worthy of all of the praise. Father, I don't know what it is that you have purpose for your people today. But I say today, Father God, I surrender my will and I surrender myself. I surrender this vessel unto you today, Father God. Let Marvel Lewis decrease as you increase in me. Today, I invite your Holy Spirit, O oh God, on this line and in this place. 
place today father god let your will be done speak to your people as only you can heal today as only you can deliver today as only you can today father god you know their needs father god and i pray today father god that you will meet them father at their point of needs today father god you know every strand of hair on their head this morning father god so as we come to you today father god uh, uh, locate your people father god locate their needs today father in the name of jesus so if you come on in and if you help me pray uh, I, i'm sure the spirit of the lord will move on this line today hey um, um, um gibson how you doing how you doing blessings come on in come on in. I, i'm sure if you help me pray this morning the spirit of the lord will move on this line today but i'm feeling this prophetic move in my stomach and i know that the lord is about to do something on this line today hello uh prophet clyde how you doing how you doing guess what prophet clyde uh, I, I see where the spirit of the Lord is about to move in your life. I don't know what it is that he's doing, but I see the Lord relocating you. Amen. I see the Lord relocating you. I don't know what it is that you are doing at this moment or if you are in the process of relocating, but I see God re relocating you. And I hear in the spirit of the Lord saying to, to Pastor Clyde, he's saying all of the things that you went through, he said that it was for this season. He said it wasn't for the next season and it wasn't for the past season. He said, but it was for this exact season right here he said all of the tears and all of the fight that you went through he said it was for this season he said that he's about to move in your life and I see where the Lord is about to relocate you and when he relocates you you will realize now that all, all, um, and some doors of opportunities are going to be open doors of opportunity are going to be open reference to a job reference to ministry everything is just going to fall into order right now you're having a bit of a struggle even when it comes to the family you're having Having a bit of a struggle, Pastor Clyde. But God says, I'm about to release. You ever see when there, when, when you pull in an elastic and how it stretches, stretches, stretches. God says, you are at a point now where you are stretched, stretched, stretched. And God said, I'm about to give you some slack. He said, I'm about to give you some slack. So re prepare yourself for relocation, Pastor Clyde. Prepare yourself for relocation. Somebody help me pray. And if you can pray in your heavenly language, come on and pray with me. I feel in this thing in my stomach and I know that the Lord is about to move on this line today if you are on this line and you are sick in your body indicate that you are sick on your body i'm about to pray for you amen some healing healing is going to take place on this line today amen believe it or not people talk about me and they talk about me and they call me a facebook prophet i really do not care because people on this line will be healed today i'm telling you there's somebody you having you and experiencing some type of lump i cannot tell you where the lump is right now but he didn't show me but i know you are experiencing some lump sometimes it is painful and sometimes it isn't painful if you are on the line let me know if you are on the line come on people of god i can need you to move quickly with me you are experiencing a lump in your body and sometimes it hurt and sometimes it does not hurt listen if you are on this line let me know that you are on this line i know i'm hearing the spirit of the lord i know i ain't tripping if you are on this line let me know god says that he wants to heal you amen but for some people you would come on this line and you would not say something but God want to heal you there's somebody I'm hearing in the spirit in the spiritual realm there's somebody with a sick child if, if your child is sick let me know amen if you have a sick child let me know I'm seeing a child that is sick God says I'm about to heal that child amen God says I'm about to heal your child I don't know who this is for I don't know who you are but I know there's somebody on this line you have a child that is sick God says guess what the doctors may have said one thing but God says I'm about to heal that child as a matter of fact I hear in the spirit of the Lord saying that that child is called to be a prophet I don't know who I'm speaking to but guess what you, you, you say something say something let me know I'm flowing with the Holy Spirit and you better catch it while I'm on uh, and God says this child is a prophet and God says I call this child to be a prophet in these end times and he said that the enemy is fighting against this child so right now father I pray a covering over this child right now in the name of Jesus father I say today I speak complete healing over this child today father God whatever word father God that the doctors give this parent or the parents oh God we cancel it now in the name of Jesus we shut down the spirit of death right now in the name of Jesus and we say that this child will live father God to, to declare your works in the earth father we call the prophet in this child right now even now father God begin to so show 
signs and wonders to his parents, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory. We thank you for your healing on this line today. We thank you for, this, for your healing on this line today. Meryl Curry, when I saw your name, I heard a, a, a job. I don't know if you have a job or if you want to transition, but I heard job when I saw your name just now. I just saw work. I just saw work. So I don't know if God is about to transition you or if he's about to give you a job, but all I see is the word job. I, all I see is the word work when I saw your name just now. Hallelujah. Somebody come on and help me pray today. Somebody come on and help me pray. Um, anybody identify themselves as the person with the lump? Hallelujah. Father, we give you praise this morning. We give you glory this morning. We magnify your name this morning. There's somebody on this line. You've been praying for a vehicle. You've been praying for a vehicle. God says, and specifically for y'all, for, for y'all that don't think I'm just, you know, quoting things right out of the air. God says you've been praying for like a Jeep like. You've been praying for a Jeep. Amen. If you, you've been praying for a Jeep, not just any vehicle, because there's several on several of you that has been praying for a vehicle. But this person has been play, praying for a, a, a Jeep. Nelson, is that you that was praying for a Jeep? You've been praying for a Jeep. Come on, man. God, no play. So God says, I'm about to give you the Jeep that you've been praying for. The same Jeep that you've been praying for. God says, I'm about to give it to you. Receive it now. In the name of Jesus, receive it now. In the name of Jesus. Hello, Kelly, how you doing? Hallelujah. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory to somebody. You've been trying to get a job with the government. You've been trying to get a job with the government. I hear the spirit of the Lord says, go and apply again. Go and apply again. And they may tell you, man, we already have your paperwork. You don't need to apply again. But let them know that you come to apply again. To let them know, yeah, I know you all already have the paperwork, but I just want to apply one more time. Amen? I just want to apply one more time. You are, are, are you already applied. You've been praying for a government job. I don't know who you are, but you've been praying for a government job. You've already applied for the government job, and it's been taking a while. God says, go and apply again. Go and apply again. And then I see somebody else. I'm seeing a desk and I'm seeing some sh shuffling of some papers. God, I'm seeing where your name was at the bottom. It wasn't really complete at the bottom, but it was like all, almost to the bottom. I see where it was almost to the bottom. But I'm seeing where the Lord now is taking that file from the bottom of the stack and placing it to the top of the stack. Placing it to the stop, top of the stack. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we bless you. Hey, Apostle Charmaine, how you doing? How you doing? Father, we bless your name today. Father, we glorify your name today. I don't know who it is on this line. You've applied for some. I don't know if it's citizenship. I don't know what it is, but it's some type of legal paper. I don't know if it's to work or to live, whatever it is. But it's a legal type of paper for a Pacific country. For a Pacific <laughs> country. God says you have been approved. God says you have been approved. I don't know who you are. God says you have been approved. I don't know if you're living in the States. I don't know if you live in here and you apply for citizenship. I don't know who you are. But God says that, listen, he says that, that, that you are approved. Wherever you are, God says you are approved. Hallelujah. You are approved. My God, my God, my God. I'm praying for that person with a lump. God just won't let me move from that. God just won't let me move from that. There's somebody with a lump. There's somebody with a lump. And God says he wants to heal you. So, listen, people of God, sometimes y'all come on, 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 on live and y'all don't want to come on the live video. Y'all are watching the background and you don't want to come live and you don't want to identify yourself. Listen here, the other day I was on, 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 on Prophetess Erica live and she was speaking to somebody with a lump. And guess what? None of y'all know this. I've been dealing with this lump in my throat now for about... A year and some. I never said anything to anybody, but she said it on the line. Yes, um, um, a couple of days ago, and she said, uh, um, God says He wants to heal you. And guess what? I identify myself. Sometimes you hold up your own blessing because of what you think, what you um, 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 um worrying you concerned about what other people can say about you. You holding up your own blessing. You holding up your own breakthrough. I did not come on this line this morning to play with anybody. You won't be watching in in secrecy and don't want to come and get your blessing that's your business you won't be watching in secrecy and, and, and full of pride and puffed up because you don't want to say okay you connected to this little girl or this woman who we nobody know and this no name prophet listen come get your healing 
Come get your healing. I've been dealing with this thing on the side. Nobody knows sometimes my face swell up. I can't even come on live. That's why sometimes I do uh, 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 I do the audio. Because sometimes my face is swollen. Stop letting pride kill y'all. God says that he wants to heal you. Listen, I ain't even staying on that long. I'm moving on. If you can't identify yourself, listen, that's on you. But I pray the Lord heal you after we come off this line today. If you do not want to heal yourself, if you do not want to receive your healing. Amen. You don't want to receive your healing. Ah, ah, ah. Jesus. There's a few of you on this line. You've been praying for jobs. There's a few of you on this line. You've been praying for a job. If you've been praying for a job, type job on the screen. Type job on the screen. Type job on the screen. If you've been praying for a job, type job on the screen. Amen. Type a jo- job on the screen. Come on. Shut up. I see it in Rikishu. I see where the Lord is about to move. I see where the Lord is about to move in the house of assembly. I see where the Lord is about to move in the house of assembly. He's about to do uh, a spiritual revamp in the house of assembly. I see you, Nelson. I see you. I see you, Andrea. I see you. I see you, Altamese. I see you. Hallelujah. 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 Father, I pray today. Father God, I see you, Sharika. I, I see you, Shakira. I see you. I see you. I see you. I see you, Nayoka. I see you. Uh, Father, I pray right now when I come into agreement, Father, with your people today, Father God. Father, your people has come forth and publicly declare, Father God, that they need jobs, Father God. And because they publicly declare, Father God, that they need jobs, I say today, Father God, do not let your people down. Move on behalf of your people today, Father God, like never yet before. Father, I pray today, Father God, that by the end of next month, Father God, each and every person on this line that 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 type their name on the screen that type job on the screen today father god that they shall be employed father god in the name of jesus in the area father god that they've been praying for father i give you the praise i give you the glory i give you the honor i hear the spirit of the lord said go and look for it my god my god go and look for it for some of you you've already sent your resumes to a couple places i see where the lord will have them to call you back where I see where the Lord will have them to call you back. There's one or two of you on this line. Um, 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 you left some jobs, but the, 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 the boss is about to call you back to come to work. Amen. There's some people the boss is about to call you back to come to work. And, and, and his explanation, how you will know it's God, is because the employer was saying, I had to let you go because business was slow. But now business is picking back up and I need you. This is how you will know that this was God. I, I mean, you won't you want be specific because some of y'all is getting a little crazy. God, if, if it's this, give me a sign. God, if it's this, give me a sign. God says, the way that you will know that it's me is because when the boss call you back, he will say, listen, I have to let you go because it was slow but now business is picking up i need you to come back to work that is how you will know that this is truly god my god my god my god for those of you that are sick on in your bodies i'm type sick on the on, on the line amen type sick on the line if you are sick in your body type sick on the line if somebody on the screen you are experiencing some stuff going on with your uh, it's your stomach area what god is shown it's like your stomach area but i'm seeing where it is almost like your your it's your kidneys that is affected god says right now while you are on this live feed go and get yourself a room temperature some room temperature water room temperature water and drink uh, uh, um, the room temperature water drink the room temperature water i'm hearing god saying somebody on this you suffering from you don't even know you have i think it's called gall stones Canada, if that's you with the stomach problem, go and drink a, 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 a glass or a, 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 a bottle of room temperature water. Go and do that now. Go and do that now. If you're in a position where you could do that now, go and do it now, Canada. If that is you, go ahead and drink that water now. Room temperature, not cold water. Room temperature. There's somebody on this line you're dealing with some gall stones. God says you are about to pass out the gall stones. He's, a, he's right now on this line. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Right now on this line, God is touching your body right now. 
He is touching your body right now, even as we speak. He is touching your body. He is, you may feel some discomfort coming from your back area, your lower back area. God says, I'm touching, I'm touching you. And he says that I'm healing your body now. I don't know who you is, but you can call me later. You can message me later because you can pass it out. My God, my God. And that's the reason why you've been experiencing so much discomfort. That is the reason why you've been experiencing so much little cramp in the area and in, in your stomach area and even a lower back type pain like lower back, not up, not up high, but lower back. Canada, listen, woman of God, you're going to pass it. You're going to pass it. My God, my God, look at God. You're going to pass it. Go, go and drink the water. And as soon as you drink the water, let me know you drink the water. Even if you have to me message me after the broadcast. Bernadette Marshall, I don't know what you are about to do, but I see God blessing you with... I don't even know how to say this. I don't know if it's a triplex, but I'm seeing God blessing you with... It, 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 it's, it, I've seen it as a room, but I'm not sure if it's a triplex. I don't even know how to explain it, but I know it is a way. That's right, Carnetta. I know it's a way for you to have extra income. I don't know what it is. I'm Bernadette Marshall, but I'm seeing it's a way for you. I don't know if it's an efficiency or what you call those places that just have, you know, the bathroom and, and the kitchen and everything in one. Efficiency. God, God, God is going to you. You're going to be. You're going to have an efficiency. I don't know if it's one. I don't know if it's several. But God says He that will be your way to make extra money because you've been saying lately that um, 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 cash is a little strap and you've been trying to find another way to make extra money. God says I'm going to bring to your path. That's that. He said I'm going to bring it to your path. How He is going to do it, I don't know. But Bernadette Marshall, God says that's the way you're going to make make the extra finances or the extra cash that you've been asking him for for some of you i'm hearing the spirit of the lord saying you've been asking me for new clothes but you ain't getting rid of the old ones Shut up, I can't see it. Be uh, you, you've been asking me for some new clothes. For those, he says you've been asking me for some new clothes. I ain't forget y'all who've been typing sick for the um who's been typing um 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 um, um sick on this. Uh, 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 God says, you've been asking me for some new clothes. He says, but you ain't getting rid of the old ones. God says, get rid of the old ones. Watch me move. For days, I mean, for years, I've been asking God, God, I need a new wardrobe. God, I put on some weight, man. I need to, I need to, I need to, I need some new clothes. And I had some jeans in my closet for mussy, but one, five years with the tag still in it. I know my hip can't fit in them no more. But I just was holding on to them, boy, I can lose this weight. I can lose this weight. I can lose this weight. And just the other day, God had it. So he says, I'm going to provide the finances for you to get the clothes that you want. I didn't know how he was going to um, 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 provide it. But guess what? For most of my viewers, for most people around the world, believe it or not, they've been sewing into my PayPal account and I was able to get me a wardrobe. I'm telling you, God don't play in this season. I was able to get some clothes not only for myself, but for me and my children. This is how God is about to bless you in this season. And guess what I did? I went in the closet. I took down all of the old clothes and I put them in a box. I, and people, l l l l let me see if I can show you all. See, see the box there? I hope you all can see it. That's the box of clothes. That's, that's the box of clothes. I packed them up and I put them on the side. In this season, we need to ha we need to learn how to be obedient to the spirit of the living God. We got to be obedient to the spirit of the living God. Amen. So when God tells you to do something, move in obedience. Move in obedience. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Boy, the men on this line don't like to speak, boy. But I see one or two men on this line. You've been praying for a spouse. Usually it's the women who's be crying, Jesus, I need a husband, I need a husband. There's one or two men that is watching on this live today. You've been praying for a spouse. You've been praying for a spouse. And God says, this is your season. The Spirit of the Lord said, this is your season. This is for the, for, for the men. There's one or, two, one or two of you that are watching me. And you've been praying for a spouse. Because you say, you know what? I'm tired of the games. I'm tired of the foolishness. I'm tired of these games that these women um, I'm playing around. I'm tired of them taking my money. <laughs> you just ask, how I can know this woman talking about God? That's the same thing that you just say. How I can know if this woman really from God? You, you said, I'm tired of these gals taking my money. 
Because <laughs> I heard when you said, how I going to know if this woman talking or, or she talking to me or she talking from God. You said you tired of these gals taking your money and that's exactly how you said it. God says that this is your season. Amen. This is your season. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. This is your season. Hallelujah. This is your season. Hello, how you doing? Seriously, this is your season. There's one or two of you men on the line. God says, this is your season for marriage. This is your season for marriage. Amen. Listen, God just is, God is doing some serious stuff. I was in the bathroom this morning getting ready. Weddings, 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 Bernadette, weddings, weddings. I was in the bathroom getting dressed today. And while I was getting dressed, uh, I hear the spirit of the Lord says, he said to me, I, uh, he said, post this. I say, post? For what you want me to post? He said, post this. He said, uh, 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 tell my people to come. It's time to come out of hiding. <laughs> he said, to tell my people to come out of hiding. So I went there. Listen, marriage season. So, so I went and I typed that. It's time to come out of hiding, right? Then he said, then I went, um, um, when I was about to put on my clothes, he said, post this. And I'm telling you, I was laughing this morning. You all believe it or not, God speaks. He said, post this. And I said, okay. So I sit down there to hear what God was saying. So as I sit down, <laughs> Clyde, you didn't get, I, I already give you your word. You was the first person that I ministered to. <laughs> you was, you can have to go back and watch the beginning of the um, broadcast. Um, um, Clyde, I ministered to you at the beginning of the broadcast. Um, so um, 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 the Lord said, he said, post this. So I began to, I hold the phone and I would say, okay. And, and, and so he said, he said, the person that you have been admiring, the person on the line that you have been, the person um, that you've been admiring and you've been loving and, and, and you've been loving them secretly. Today is the day to let them know that you love them. Today is the day to let them know that you've been admiring them. Mind you, it could be a mate, a possible mate. It could have been a teacher. It could have been your pastor that you, you know, you just admire and have respect um, 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 for. It could be somebody that you want to date. It could be somebody that you, prefer, you know, you, you, you've been looking at and say, boy, this could be a woman I could marry. This could be a man I could marry. It, it, listen, somebody that you've been admiring, somebody that you've been loving secretly and you did not want to say because a fair God said, this is your day to come out of hiding and say what you have on your mind. Too much of us, especially Christian people, live in fear. We live in fear. And for many of us, guess what? We just be around here, boy, I waiting on God. Boy, I waiting on God. God, give me a sign. Let me know if that girl is my wife. God, give me a sign. Let me know if that woman is my wife. God, and give you a million signs and you ain't make your move yet. <laughs> Man, listen, listen. Father, is this my husband? The fellow with you every day. And you right here, God, give me a sign, give me a sign. You crying in the afternoon and he coming and he counseling you and he telling you what to do. Stop dating these no good men because all they doing is breaking your heart. God giving you the sign, but you don't want to listen. <laughs> the fella been there all the time. <laughs> Man, listen, I get not, I get not. The fella been there all the time. So, people of God, we got to get in this. In, in, we got to get to the point now where we stop trying to challenge God, but we become obedient to the voice of God. Amen. Stop trying, trying to challenge God, and just be obedient. When He tell you move, just move. And I thought it was so funny this morning how He said that. I say secretly. I was like, well, Jesus, Lord, what is this this morning? Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. There's somebody on this line you've been praying uh, for, oh, how do I say it? You've been praying for fire. That's how God tell me to say it. You've been praying for fire. Hello, hello, everybody. Blessings. Come on in. Share the broadcast. You've been praying for fire. You want more of God, but the way you said it to God is, God, I want more fire. For me, for, for God says, I want you to be pacific with my people. So he's given me the exact word that you use. For y'all, you know, doubters on the line who like to think that, uh, I think she talking about God. God. God says you ask for more fire. You want more of him. But the words that you used was, I want more fire. God says, because you want more fire and because you desire more of him, he says, I'm about to place my, um, he says, I'm about to place the fire upon you. Amen. How you will know when you receive this fire is that your, your legs will buckle, your knees, because of the weight of it. 
I hear the spirit of the Lord saying, are you ready? Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I hear in the spirit of the Lord saying, are you ready? Amen. And somebody, even if it's the same for you, you could receive this word. Are you ready? Are you ready for my anointing? Are you ready for the fire? Are you ready for the gift? Are you ready for the healing ministry? Are you ready for the deliverance ministry? Are you ready? Come on. Some, God says I'm even giving some people on this line love. Because you don't know how to love people. God says, I'm even placing love on you to the point where you begin to love people. I'm even hearing the spirit of the living. God said, I'm giving some of you laughter because you don't know when was the last time that you laughed. God says, I'm about to give you laughter. And I'm hearing the spirit of the Lord saying, I'm about to give some of you joy. He says, because you don't know when was the last time that you was truly content and you was happy in your own space and your own skin. God says on this line, I'm giving laughter. I'm giving joy. And then I hear the spirit of the Lord saying, I'm about to give you peace. He says, for some of you, you toss and turn at night. He says, because you do not have peace. He says, don't you know that I own the banks? He said, don't you know I own the banks? He says, don't you know when you got the mortgage, it was me that allowed you to get the mortgage. So don't get puffed up and thinking that where I can get the money to pay the Lord oh, Jesus. He said, don't get puffed up. Don't get worried. Don't, don't fly up in my face. When you were a month late or two months late, he says it was me who gave it to you. See, some of us we tie up our own blessing because we start to doubt God. It was God that gave you the house in the first place. So allow God to make the payments. All you do is sow your seeds and do what it is that God tells you to do. Be obedient. My God, for those of you, uh, uh, you ain't sick no more because we don't pray for healing. For those of you, God, sometimes you got to remind God, God, I am working for you. This is your body. This is yours. So God, I am feeling the pain in my body. Heal this body so I can continue to work for you. Shut out of my Some of us, we want healing just so we could feel good, just so we could go about our own merry business. God says, in this season, if you, in this season, if you have a selfish gain, buddy, dog, eat your lunch. Sorry to say it like that. But in this season, God is blessing those that want to be a blessing. God is healing those that just want to go out and work. God is healing people bodies who want to go out and heal other people. God is delivering those that want to go help deliver other people i'm telling you i'm telling you in this season the wicked ain't prospering in this season we have watched them prosper and god says i'm about to cut them down like a green bay tree i'm about to cut them down my god some of us on this line, we've been praying to God, why is it this one getting married? Why is this one getting the money? Why is this one having a good job? Why this one seems not to be struggling? God says, guess what? Just as you see, when Jesus passed and he and he passed and, and, and the fig tree was not barren, the fig tree was not barren. And then when he passed again, he cursed the fig tree. When they passed again, the fig tree was dead. Uh, uh, God says, guess what? Some people, you watching them, you watching them, you watching them, you watching them, they only look good from the outside. The tree might look green, but the tree is not bearing good fruit. So most of them are about to get cut down. Stop coveting. Stop looking at what other people have. My God, my God, my God, my God. Hallelujah. 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 There's somebody that have a headache on one side. You have a headache on, the, on one side. I'm hearing the spirit of the Lord saying the left side. You have a headache on one side of your head. I pray that the Lord heal that and remove the pain right now in the name of Jesus. That's because of tension. You need to get to a place and it look like you are at work. You just need to get like someplace quiet for about 10 minutes. This is what I'm hearing the spirit of the Lord. Just for about 10 minutes just by yourself and you'll feel the headache start to lift. But you've already been healed. It's a one-sided headache. I don't know who you are, but, but God says, get, get away for a few minutes just by yourself. He said, because it's only tension. It's tension. And if you keep on going that way, it's going to be detrimental. So take a couple of minutes, go aside, by, go aside where it's quiet, and you'll feel the headache start to dissipate. It'll start to lift. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So people of God, I only came on in to do what it is what the Lord tell me to do. And, and um, I'm about to go. I'm about to go. I'm about to go.
I'm about to go. Hallelujah. There's about to be some weddings. There's about to be some weddings. Some of you, the, 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 these fellas just can come to you and say, hey, listen, I've been watching you for a while and I'm interested and I'm ready to get married. They ain't into no jokes. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, some people have been watching you all for a while, and they just can step to you and say, hey, listen, I've been watching you for a while. Um, what you saying? I'm ready to get married. For y'all females who feel like men don't want to get married, you have some men over here, they ready to get married. They ready. They ready. So watching this season, a lot of um, uh, uh, marriages are going to take place. Amen. I hear the spirit of the Lord says, I'm about to do a shift in the house of assembly. He says, I'm also going to be doing a shift in the Royal Bahamas police force. He said, I'm about to do a shift on the Royal Bahamas police force. There's a lot of things, but the Lord is not giving me to go ahead to say certain things. Remember, I'm a police officer, people, and police officers watch this broadcast, although they don't identify themselves. So plenty of things the Lord wouldn't give me um, 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 the liberty to say it, but there's about to be plenty of changes on the Royal Bahamas Police Force. Amen. There's about to be a lot of change. A lot of people that was, you know, that was to the bottom is about to be to the top. <laughs> there's going to be a lot of change there's a lot of things that people was looking at and saying that it was injustice God is about to fix certain things amen there's going to be a lot of changes in the road traffic department there's going to be a lot of changes there are some things that God is about to expose and he said the reason why I'm about to expose it is so that I can now correct it so I could now bring order there are some things that he is about to expose and the reason why he will expose it or allow it to come to light is so now it can come to order even with Ministry of Tourism, there's some things that are about to come to light. And the reason why it's coming to light is so that God could bring order. That's right, Cedrica, wisdom. Got to use it, woman of God. So that he can bring order. There are some things that are about to happen. I remember I told you all at the beginning of this month that the flag is about to fly at half mast. And that the Bahamas is about to mourn. Because it's about to mourn. And I said it and listen, listen, listen. God ain't taking long. When he says something, it come into pass. It come into pass. So people of God, thank you for coming on in. I appreciate you for coming on in. I appreciate you for coming on in. I appreciate you. Who's who's been praying for a house? If you've been praying for a house, if you've been praying for a house, I want you to type house on the screen. Type house on the screen. If you've been praying for a house, I hear the spirit of the Lord says, I'm about to bless you with your own home. Amen. I, I'm about to bless you with your own home. I hear the spirit of the Lord saying, I'm about to bless you with your own home. So if you've been praying for a house, go ahead and type house on the screen. There's somebody on this where you've already started the process. God says you've already been approved. And in a matter of weeks, you will have the keys. And some of you already started the process and in a matter of weeks, you're going through some paperwork now. Paperwork now and it seems like you won't get it, but God said you, you, already been, you have already been approved. Father, your people on this line today, Father God, that are typing on the screen, Father God, that is believing you for their own homes, Father God, that are believing you, Father God, for, con for, for their own condos, that are believing you, Father God, for their duplexes, that are believing in you, Father God, for their triplexes and even their fourplex. There's even someone on this line that is believing you for an eightplex. Father, I pray right now that, that, that you will meet them, Father God, at their point of needs, Father God. I pray, oh God, that you will bring up their faith level, Father God, to believe, Father God. That as you did it then, you can do it now. So, Father, we give you thanks. We glorify you. We thank you for doing it now, Father God. We thank you for turning the heart of the banks, oh God. We thank you for turning the heart of the loan officers, oh God. We thank you for turning the heart, Father God, uh, 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 of the manager at the um, a mortgage corporation, Father God. We thank you for moving, Father, on our behalf now in the name of Jesus. We thank you for favor, Father God. We thank you for our homes in advance. Somebody come on with me and begin to thank God for your home. Begin to thank God for your healing somebody come come on on this line today let's give god praise because somebody on this line was healed somebody is receiving their house somebody is receiving what the lord said he will do somebody got healed amen tomorrow blessings 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 i see you i see you i see you receive it in the name of jesus so people of god thank you for coming on in 
If you want to be a blessing to the ministry, my PayPal information is at the bottom of the screen. Um, you can go ahead and be a blessing to the ministry. I don't care how small it is. Once you want to be a blessing to the <laughs> ministry, all you have to do is click on to the uh, pay on the link on the screen, follow the direction, and you can go ahead and you can sow a seed into the ministry. We have a prayer that is coming up at the end of the month, which is on Friday, March 30th. We're going, we are going to be on the high High school field here in Abaco uh, where I have invited all of the leaders here in Abaco we're going to be on the high school field and we go on going we are coming together in prayer amen we are coming together in prayer I'm hearing the Lord saying for somebody on this um line you believe in God for a child you believe in you, you you've been praying for a child you've been asking God uh, like God what happened what what happened you forget me have you forgotten me and i hear the lord says i have not forgotten you amen i hear i'm i hear the spirit of the lord said i have not forgotten you and just as he as 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 he did oh lord with the lady name was it hannah when Hannah, when Hannah came to him and was crying and, and came to the temple and was praying, God says, just as I visited Hannah, he said, I'm about to visit you. And just as she had a prophet, you are about to have a prophet. Hallelujah. 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 God says, just as he visited Hannah, I believe it was Hannah um, who had the prophet who had what what he named Samuel is it Samuel I believe it was Samuel but 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 God says just as I visit her and I bless her womb I open up her womb he says I'm about to bless and your womb I'm about to touch your womb and he said you shall give birth you shall give birth to a prophet hallelujah hallelujah you shall give birth to a prophet amen amen I, I, I I'm about to I trying to go right <laughs> I'm trying to go. I'm trying to go. I'm trying to go. I'm trying to go, but I just can't shake it off. Listen, if you will sow into the ministry, be obedient. If you can sow into the ministry, type sow to the bottom of the screen. I'm only being obedient to the Spirit of the Lord. I don't like to do this. I really don't. I, I really don't. But I'm hearing the, uh, listen, I'm hearing the Spirit of the Lord say it. So I got to obey the Lord when he says it. Amen. If you are, uh, if you are um, 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 being led by the Spirit of the Lord to sow into the ministry, type so on the screen. Type so on the screen. For somebody who's typing so on the screen, I see where God is about to release a check to you. I see where God is about to release a check for you. You've been fighting for this check. You've been waiting for this check. You keep on going to the office for this check. And for some reason, the check has been delayed. God says, so if you 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 be obedient to this word today and you sow into the ministry that check will be released to you you can call me back and you can let me know woman of god guess what i received the check i'm telling you i'm telling you i i ain't playing with y'all i don't just play this word i don't say nothing that god tell me not to say if he ain't tell me to say it i'm not going to say it God says the check that you've been waiting on, you've been going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You've been going back and forth, trying to figure out what's going on, why the check been held up. God says, so you see it. And watch God. So you see it. God bless you, Bernadette. God bless you. God bless you. I can't wait for God to make you the entrepreneur that he called you to be. Amen. Blessings, 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 blessings. Bernadette, I, I, for some reason, I, I don't know what it is that you have planned, but I see where you was writing on a book. You was writing on a book, something that you want to do, something that you want to do. God says, because of your obedience, once you release that seed, he's going to bring that to uh, flourishing. Amen. There's something that you see that you write down. And even you yourself, you didn't really take it that much serious. It's just something that you say, man, I want to do this. God says, once you saw your seed. That is going to come to flourishing. That is for Bernadette Marshall. Blessings, blessings, blessings. I'm, I'm, I'm Nakia. God, blessings, blessings, blessings. And before I leave here, the Holy Spirit just reminded me to say to the people, he says that uh, 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 a few months ago, 
um, the Spirit of the Lord, because if, if somebody um, sowed into the ministry or so into my life or so into, because it's a difference when somebody sow into your life and when they sow into the ministry, he says, if somebody sow into the ministry, he says, do not pray for just a double. He said, don't pray for double. He said that pray for their seed to be multiplied. He said, pray for their seed to be multiplied. He said, because most of the time people are sowing out of their, out of desperate, out of desperation. They're sowing out of their need. So most of the time when you sow, you sow in because you really have a need. And God says, I, 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 I speak multiplication over their seed. Amen. So blessings to all of you. I see you. I see you. I pray that you honor your word to sow into the ministry. I'm going to go now because I already feel the anointing lifted up. So I cannot just, I can't do nothing nothing else that the Lord didn't tell me to do. I can't say nothing that he didn't tell me to say. Amen. If he didn't say it, I can't, I can't say it. So blessings to all of you. I really thank you for coming on in uh, for prophetic fire. I have a feeling that this won't be the last time. Amen. Like I said, I've been fighting it from last night. <laughs> I've been fighting it from last night. I was supposed to come on in. Um, blessing, seriously. I was supposed to come on in. Um, from last night because I felt this thing stirring up in my stomach. I felt this thing stirring up in my stomach and I had to, um, I, I had to, there's this, this I, the Lord just tell me to release this. He just tell me to release this. He says, just as I trouble the, the, the water at, the, I can't even say this word, the pool at Bethesda or whatever that was. Y'all know the story. We've been going to church long time. Pray for your son. Okay, seriously, I'll be praying for your son. Um, go ahead and box me your son name. And I will be praying for your son. And box me your son name. But he says, on your behalf, I'm about to trouble the pool. Amen. He says, I'm about to trouble the water. <laughs> he says, I'm about to trouble the water. For many of you on this line, some people have been bothering with you. Some people have been frustrating you. Some people have been doing some things to you. Some people have been saying some things to you, even on your job. God says, I'm about to defend you. Amen. He says, I'm about to defend you. He says, do not say nothing. And I talking to myself too. He said, do not say nothing. He says, because your silence will be powerful in this season. Amen. Your silence will be powerful in this season against your enemy. Amen. There are some times when the Lord tell you that you got to speak up. Amen. When he tells you, listen, don't allow the enemy to take your voice from you. But, but God is saying in this season, which do the particular enemies that you, that are coming up against you, God says, your silence is powerful. It is in your silence that I will avenge you. I hear the spirit of the Lord says, it is in your silence that I will avenge you. Amen. My God, someone need to post that on Facebook. It is in your silence that I will avenge you. Amen. It is in your silence that I will avenge you. Amen. So people of God, listen, when they start talking about you and they start saying this about you, say absolutely nothing. I know it's hard because I've been wanting to clap back at some people so bad. Oh gosh. Even at some pastors. But guess what? God tell me to shh. Hush it up. Hush it up. And then so I, I just had to stay quiet and just let it be. So people of God, blessings to all of you. Thank you for coming on in. For those of you that will sow into the ministry, go ahead. Uh, click on the link for the PayPal. And you can go ahead. You can sow that way. Or you can inbox me. And you can go ahead. I can give you my account number for um, Fidelity. And you can go ahead and you can sow that way. For those of you that are watching uh, for, from different parts of the United States, you can either send um, your seed through Western Union or you can go through PayPal, which is the easiest route. Amen. So blessings to all of you, those of you that will watch this later. If you are sick in your body, all you need to do is touch the Pacific location and, and, and believe God and he will heal your body. Amen. There is no distance in prayer. There is no time in prayer. Amen. God says, listen, some people on this line have been healed. If you have catch caught the tail end of this or you are watching this broadcast later to the healing power of the living God will heal you. Amen. All you need to do is believe in the in, in the Lord. Amen. Hey Latoya, how you doing, honey? Um, believe in the Lord and you will receive your healing. Amen. I hear the Spirit of the Lord reminding me. For even if you want a child, but those listen, God is so good, man. He is speaking even to the future. 
Amen. He says, even um, those of you that will watch this broadcast later and you believe in God for a child, he says, just all you got to do is agree, come into agreement and bring your, your faith level up and he will move in your life like never yet before. Thank you for watching the video today. I thank you for those of you that will sow your seed. And right when you sow your seed, I will send you, I will um, email you with certain information and I will also be praying a multiplication over your seed. Let me speak a blessing over those that share the broadcast now. I speak a blessing for those that uh, uh, share the broadcast. I speak a blessing over your hands for the mere fact that you typed and you share this broadcast with somebody so that it may be a blessing to them today. I pray that the Lord open up the storehouse of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you do not have room to contain. I pray that every seed that come from you be blessed in the name of Jesus. May you be covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. I pray for a fiery hedge of protection to be around you, around around your children, around your car, around your job, around your business, around your finances, around everything that you touch now in the name of Jesus. Now, as we leave this broadcast, but certainly never God's presence, may the Lord continue to be with you. Love you for watching.